way, boss. Hurry. Use that bike. It's tuned up and ready to go. I'll handle the rest. Here. That's your name as of today. Best change your face to now this one. He'll take your place. From here on, he's Snake. He believes it too. My very own Phantom, huh? <laughs> Boss, the whole world wants your head. Don't worry, he can handle it. Move now. Quickly. Aren't you forgetting something? We'll meet again. Right.
remember who you are, what you were meant to do. I cheated death thanks to you. And thanks to you, I've left my mark. You have to. You've written your own history. You're your own man. I'm Big Boss. And you are too. Now, he's the two of us together. Where we are today, we built it. This story, this legend, it's ours. We can change the world, and with it, the future. I am you, and you are me. Carry that with you wherever you go. Thank you, my friend. From here on out, you're a big boss. What was it all for? If the boss has some plan, what is it? The real big boss is working separately from us to create his new nation. New nation? A military nation above and apart from all. The true outer heaven. Something created to maintain world balance. Independent of the struggles for supremacy, for personal profit, the cycles of revenge between countries. It'll be an army, all right. But more. Big Boss is building a nation. But, until it's complete, we support the other Big Boss. The Phantom carries on his legend, his meme. That is Big Boss's plan. So that's the way it is. Nine years ago, I thought everything had been taken from me. But now I really have lost it all. The boss, and the future we were building together. One day, the age of Big Boss's sons will arrive. They'll likely want to settle the score with him. We have to shape that age. We'll each have roles to play. Building the foundation for a revolution led by both big bosses, the true one, and the Phantom. No. Big Boss can go to hell. I'll make the Phantom and his son stronger to send him there. For that, I'll keep playing my role. <laughs> you know... Sooner or later, there'll be only one boss. There's only room for one boss. His sons are fated to face each other someday, too. If the day ever comes that you go back to Cypher, I'll aid the other son. And then you and I will be enemies, too. One of us will have to kill the other. Fine by me. I'll be ready for the new age. Until then, 
We'd better get used to coexisting. The last nuke's been decommissioned. It's over, boss. I thought this day would never come. But while we can rejoice, we must never relax. The last nuke was deactivated. That is a fact. But the knowledge that built it is still out there. How long the world remains nuke-free is up to us. Will this moment persist? Or will human ambition cast us into the flames once more? Our duty is to pass on what we've learned to the next generation. The memories, the experiences, the sins. Only when our children show the wisdom not to forge new spears. Only then will we be truly triumphant. Humanity, every one of us, has chosen the path of nuclear disarmament. Out of ethics or desire, government policy, military strategy, whatever the reason, it's our path too. And each step forward makes it more solid. Patients have stabilized, but there's no telling how many will make it. The warhead we seized ruptured during transport. Recovering the leaked material exposed each of them to several hundred rats. Environmental contamination was kept to a minimum, thanks to their efforts. Heroes, every one of them. finished dismantling the warhead. The nuclear material has been vitrified and sealed away. It'll take at least 30 years of cold storage before it's safe. And even then, we can't just dump it in the sea, bury it in the desert. Nuclear disarmament. Boss, we can't let this achievement go to waste. And that means we'll have to get stronger. No nuclear program will go unseen. Someone manages to build another nuke. We'll be there to shut him down. Gotta love the irony.
I haven't forgotten what you told me. About Eli and his boys. You know where they went? We're still working on it, but the chopper pilot they had fly them out of here is back. And? He said once Sahalanthropus and the chopper got out to sea, they split up and headed in different directions. The chopper headed straight for Africa. They made it about 50 miles inland before running out of fuel. The kids used vines and duct tape to tie the pilot to his seat before they disappeared. He was almost dead from dehydration when the medics found him. They left him alive on purpose. Yeah, they're calling us out. They want to settle this. The intel team are using the direction Sahelanthropus headed and the direction the kids took off in to narrow down the search area. And with Hewick helping out, it won't be long before we know where Eli is. There's just one thing that bothers me. What's that? Apparently, there are already men going around the nearby villages asking for witnesses of the giant in the sky. Damn it. Already? It's clearly business as usual for Cypher, even with Skullface gone. They must have been dying to get Sahelanthropus back ever since Afghanistan. And if they beat us to it, they'll be getting more than that. Eli's carrying the English strain of the vocal cord parasite. We've tracked down Eli and his men. They've spread the parasite across the island. It won't affect you if your voice hasn't broken. So they're safe, for now. Eli's driven all the adults off the island. Recess is officially in session. His own version of Lord of the Flies, only instead of a pig's head, Sahelanthropus. And it's swarming with something worse than flies. They presented one demand in exchange for the nuke. Big Boss's body. Those kids have got a lot to learn. Okay, boss. The objective is to recover Sahelanthropus and the children, Eli included. Once you're in the air, we'll hit the island with napalm. Can't let those things spread. It gets worse. Here's the tape from when Eli took off. <coughs> Where is he? I told you, your father's not here. <coughs> that fuck. His voice is starting to change, meaning he's almost a man. So if he's carrying the English language strain, well, if he starts showing symptoms, it's over. <coughs>
shoot here. You're not a kid anymore. You can call your own shots. But at this rate, you'll be dead before you have a chance. I'm free to die however I wish. Yes. Free. You don't get the last word, Father. I'll break the curse of my heritage. And to do that, first, I will kill you!
Give me some room. You'll be all right. The vest took the bullet. Get him on the chopper. We'll patch him up at base. Hmm? <gasps> Boss, he's showing symptoms. Huh? What? <gasps> I was created by Cypher. And I was the floor. My fate was written in my genes. I'm the loser. You. All because of you. I'm not me. I'm just a copy of you. Surpass my father. Destroy my father. Destroy you! I'll kill all of Cypher. I'll destroy your precious world! Code Red! Code Red! We need to go fast! How's it going over there? There's nothing you can do for him now. Island's completely contaminated. Orders are to use napalm to sanitize. Sanitize every square inch. Prepare to drop. We're pulling out. Move! I will kill you! That's right. Don't blame yourself. Blame me.
Not yet. It's not over yet.